hi there today in this video we will talk about ECDA so ECDA is an online PCB designing tool where you can draw schematics and convert those schematics into PCB and that PCB can be converted into a 3d model so let's get started before getting started I want to say that this video is totally unscripted so you might have to deal with grammatical errors and so sad and some similar kind of repetitive words so i hope it doesn't matter for you uh, let's get started uh, before getting started i would like to open this ecda for you so i have a local version so you can install the ecda this is the local copy whereas you can also use the online version of ecda so just type ecda and search oops uh, what happened to my Wi-Fi? So give me some time. I'll get my Wi-Fi connection up and running. Okay, now we are ready with our Wi-Fi. So this first one is in just an advertisement. No need to click. Here we have ECDA and the second link. Just click the second URL. First URL is always the advertisement. So you here you have two options: download and ECDA designer. If you click ECDA designer, it will Take you to the online page and if you click the download option it will go to the download page where you can select your operating system and download it and recently they also launched a professional edition which is not yet available but it carries few more advantage when compared to standard version like you can export the 3d version of the pcp which you have created so currently we cannot export the 3d version if you want to store it somewhere you have to take screenshots so that's the only way you can store it okay why it's blocked okay maybe oh yeah so since i if you could remember i used open a new tab but it's not how it works now because we have two options to work with so pro edition is available online mode is available for us but still we will stick with standard edition okay this is our ECDA if you want to register or log in just click here and give your credentials you will be able to log in or if you want to start a project then go to file new project since you are not logged in you won't be able to create new project but still you can do some simulations so like uh, here we have on our left we have commonly libraries so this means uh, common okay this doesn't support drag and drop option uh, so you have to click and place the component here and you can place some capacitors click R on your keyboard and it's not necessary that you need to click this routing tool wiring tool each time instead you can just click it here and it will route it automatically for you Means the ECDA is smart enough to recognize when user need what <laughs> something like that so it's not mandatory that you always click this routing tool and do the routing stuff but one advantage if you could if you use the routing tool you can create routes anywhere but in case if you're not using the routing tool for example I changed my mode so in this case I am not able to route anything so that's a one day difference okay this uh, you can also use the standard mode uh, simulation modes currently we are in standard mode if you click once it will go to the simulation mode uh, don't save so now we are in simulation mode um, schematics since we are in simulation mode we should be having few more options uh, where are those options actually you will have options to use multimeter and a lot of few other things so since we are unregistered maybe it's blocking us somehow it should be here somewhere ah well uh, by the way this is the online library okay anyway done with this online tool i'll go to the offline version not offline the app version or else i have to log in here okay anyway i'll just continue from this side so I will write my email ID but I'm not going to share my email ID right now These are some of my projects and so these are some of my office projects so I won't be sharing much detail bye bye okay let's focus on our tutorial so if you could remember in my last video I showed something 
about a uh, PWM controller. Yes, uh, last time I showed you a triple five based PWM controller. So this is a schematic of that PWM and don't worry if you see it's in dark mode because it's only because I, I managed to change the theme and you can even oh it's on original team itself huh? okay so there are few more teams option actually i was in customized team okay uh, this is a customized question okay some uh, technical errors going on actually the black and white team was my custom team and the original team so this what you're looking at is the original team so due to some technical reasons it's acting weird okay this is the original team which you will work with and if you want to change the theme, you can go to team settings and select your unique color for each and every item. Okay. Um, so this is our schematic. And if you click convert to PCB or update PCB, the same schematic will be converted into PCB since I have already done it. So I won't repeating that one and I can simply click it here. So this is my PCB and the blue color indicates it's a bottom layer PCB and red color is top layer. And if we click this 2D item, so this image will be represented in 2D. So 2D uh, like this we can view. So it gives us a little bit feel about, oh yeah, it's the what our PCB will look like after production. If you're not satisfied with 2D version, you can click 3D. So you can see the 3D version of your PCB and this looks too great because you can even you can see this components are already there it's uh, gives you a realistic feel that after your pcbs are arrived and what happens after you place all the components so this is more promising and by the way i'll share the schematic to you later so let's focus on the topic uh, since i don't know how many of you are aware with this so i will just try to create a new schematic here so for schematics these are the basic library uh, basically we need vcc ground resistors in resistors we have this uh, smd type 6063 6 mm uh, length 3 mm width uh, the same you can here also we can use the axial one so these are the normal quarter watt resistor which we buy in market and these are the list of smd resistors and these are some uh, trim pot variants capacitors uh, polar, non-polar and polar capacitors, electrolytic capacitors, tantalum SMD, electrolytic SMD and we have a lot of varieties. So it will take days if I keep explaining everything one by one. Some battery sources, uh, some DC jack, yeah DC jack, RMC connectors, it's just HDR connectors but it's still more like the male 40 pin male and female connectors and uh, these are yeah this are double row connectors db9 and we should be having oh db9 male and female so there's another db25 connectors are also there since it's not here so uh, i'll teach you where you can find it and we have usb connectors oh we have different variants of usb connectors here switches leds diodes transistor mosfet items regulators regulators adjustable regulator adjustable regulator in different form factor smd sound segment as are not normal sound segment displays oled lcd 16 cross 2 and uh, graphic lcd um, graphic lcd or tft lcd okay let's just consider this tft leds tft lcd and since there are few things which are not present here uh, for that you can use the online library the most important thing about this is you can have access to online libraries so let's just search for db25 connector so in online library means uh, like me and some other people they have created the library yes this is what I was talking about if you could see so this is a schematic view no this is a schematic view of db25 connector and this is a PCB view in what how it looks like if you use it in the PCB and uh, this is the 3D view 
so I guess it won't allow us to see the 3d view uh, yes we might be yes okay it's not showing us here but still we can see there so this is DB 25 pin connector just quite common in my office my X office by the way mm. Since now we have this one here, so maybe we can try. Oh, it's just a sample model, so I cannot use 3D option and view it. Okay, let's just say you imported something. If you're using an online tool, just simply double click and it will be here. And tools, now design, convert to schematics. It's just asking for uh, some basic error checking. So if you're doing professional designs, it's mandatory for you to check this error. So it will warn you if you have unconnected netlist or something. So currently we're just doing for tutorial purpose. So I'll just go with no option. Oh, it's asking me to save. Save. Temp. Delete. Later. I don't want this things consume my precious storage. Okay, now I can go for convert to PCB. No. Mm, apply. The, the, those are some uh, dimensions. It will automatically recommend the dimension based upon the number of components you are working with. So, that's enough. Okay, let me just place here. And this uh, yellow colored border is our, if you could see here, border outline. So, this is our PCB's outline. You extend it or make it uh, like this uh, squared with the triangle top head okay if you this is how our PC will look like I'll just show you 2d version so this is our PCB area and this is our connector now I'll go for 3d view so which will be quite interesting oh. Okay, 3D object is not getting placed. That is a solution. So sometimes what happen, 3D objects might not be, even though if you choose 3D option, 3D enabled, uh, what to say. So in our online library, it showed, oh, it was not showing the 3D version. It's just showing the product's image. So that means this product doesn't have a 3D version. So, but still we can add a, ourselves uh, layer, a 3D model manager. So in the 3D model manager, you could go to tools, 3D model manager. Ah, yeah, now it's working. So this is our puny little LED. This should be a red color one. Yeah, red color one. Okay, let's now go to the online search models db25 let's see something do we get anything okay this one doesn't have any cd 3d schematics linked with it no 3d okay here we do have a 3d model but yeah this is a perfect one so if you could see so these are the 25 pin connector which will go right through this and these uh, and on the side we have this support terminal so this is a perfect match our for our 25 pin connectors so you have to click on update 3d model update successful notification came and if you click this yeah now we have the 3d version of our schematic of our part and if you could see we have some gap left out here so you can even change that one in the same spot where we modify the rest 3d model manager since we already chose it now you can adjust the z-axis um, minus 2 okay so minus 2 it's something like 2 mm went downwards in x-axis coordinates 2 mm downwards still we can notice some visible gaps so i'll go for minus three okay now it's okay more like okay but make sure you uh, give precise value if you give something like minus 10 then this is what it will appear like 
so this is what not what we want so we have you have to give the proper values for those x and y coordinates so sometimes it's not like uh, this time we luckily got this one but most of the time what happens is we might not get the perfect match of the 3d component which you are looking for for basic capacitors inductors it's more than enough but for some connectors uh, you might have to do this stuff and all uh, and uh, I, recent, I also noticed the same kind of difficulty with the uh, 3D Ethernet connectors. But still, for most of the basic components, everything will be fine. You will find a perfect 3D model. We do have a page where we can learn. Okay, tutorials. Tutorial for standard edition. So here you have pretty much everything. So editor, desktop client, introduction part, introduction to ECDA. So all the basic things are covered right here. Uh, even what I taught here, it also covered, but still I tried to <laughs> make a video about it because nowadays the products comes with A to Z manuals. You don't have to go and watch the YouTube stuff. Um, you can go to their website instead and find this document. So these documents are too fine, means uh, written perfectly so that you don't have to watch this video. But still you don't forget to watch my video. Okay, I think I'm just bluffing something. Sorry for that. And I guess our tutorial ends here. And I will also share the schematic. So, uh, something I want to add. So let's just explain the schematic. So if you are this is just a small schematic in case if you are working with a very big project then it's some kind of not mandatory it's recommended to go for this sections to draw like this rectangle box and keep some things there for example the power section should go in a separate box and this connectors should get in somewhere so these are some standards which we follow in industry side so it's recommended to practice this from now itself I see there are more rules since I'm not a professional here. I just rarely use these components. Actually, my work is like I'll make a rough schematic such as this one and the other PCB engineers will, PCB designers will design it for me in according to the professional standard which they follow. So for now, this basic one is more than enough, but still you can follow the tutorials from Altium or uh, Cadence to proceed in a professional way. So ECDA also it's uh, some kind of standard but still industries are not preferring more. Maybe in future they will. Actually uh, the most important thing is they're not aware that ECDA is too simple. Even in my office I'm the one who started using ECDA. They, all, uh, they highly recommend me to uh, go with Cadence. And there are a few other things also. Uh, there are some concerns about security. So industry are highly concerned about the product should not go outside. So I was pretty much, means um, I was advised to use Cadence, but still I don't know how to use Cadence. Is ECDA is really easy to use. So that's the reason why I started using ECDA. And it doesn't matter what my office people say. I use ECDA. I hope you will like using this ECDA, but if you're doing personal project kind of thing, then I definitely recommend using ECDA for um, if you're doing in your office work, if you're doing office work for the, in that case, it's kind of mandatory for you to get permissions from their side. If you could see, I have done a lot of projects here, countless. And you can also arrange your projects in folder wise, subfolder category like here I did. And there's a lot of things to learn. So for now, let's just end our conversation here and subscribe to my video if you like it. Sorry for those uh, bluffing stuff which I did a few minutes back. I'm pretty sure no one will be watching this video. Okay, anyway, just leave it. Bye.